Hello, my friends. I'm Dick Hellman, the president of CPAC, the Christian Lobby for Israel on Capitol Hill, and Merkel, the Middle East Research Center Limited, our 501c3 tax-deductible think tank that does research and provides support for CPAC's pace-setting lobbying activities for Israel's security and America's national defense. I was reminded this morning when I spoke to experts in Israel by telephone that not only Israel but the United States are at nuclear threat today. Yes, I said nuclear threat today. Threat from Iran's tyrannical regime which is threatening to eliminate the great Satan, the great Satan that's the United States, as surely as they want to eliminate the small Satan or the little Satan, that is Israel. Other nations are at risk, like Israel's Arab neighbors in the Middle East and the European nations. But Iran's regime, the hateful, genocidal, warmongering ayatollahs and their figurehead uh, president, President Rouhani, all freely say that they are not going to stop the development of nuclear weapons that the interim agreement reached by their negotiators uh, with Secretary Kerry and the P plus five uh, negotiators, P five plus one negotiators in uh, November, is our, that agreement is not going to stop them from developing nuclear weapons and using them as they wish. So I believe that those who sadly have uh, retreated or have decided to stand down in the battle for more sanctions and more action against Iran have taken a, a sad and uh, really unproductive step. That's why, as in the words of John Paul Jones, our famous admiral in the war, uh, in the Revolutionary War, when he was asked by the commander of a British ship, do you surrender? He said, no, we have not yet begun to fight. And that's what I'm telling you today. You and I must tell all of our friends, our neighbors, people in other organizations as well, that we all must go to Capitol Hill, either directly on foot, door to door, to the senator's offices, or by telephone, uh, email, fax, social media, tweets, whatever it takes, and tell our senators, if they have not already done so, that they should vote for Senate Bill S-1881, that's S-1881, the No Nuclear Arms for Iran Bill that is pending in the Senate. Now the Senate leadership, and particularly Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, have said they are not going to bring that bill up after Harry Reid promised months ago that he would do it. So he has broken his promise. And it's a shame that the Senate will not be allowed to work its will and to enact this very productive legislation which will keep Iran's regime's feet to the fire. But it's up to you, as well as to me, to call our senators, particularly those who have not yet signed on to that bill. For example, in Maryland, Senator Cardin has co-sponsored the bill, but Senator Mikulski has not. In Virginia, Senator Warner has co-sponsored the bill, but Senator Kane has not. In Arizona, Senator, pardon me, Senator Kane has not. In Arizona, Senator McCain has co-signed, co co-sponsored that bill, but Senator Flake has not. And that's how it goes in many states. In Florida, Senator Rubio is a co-sponsor, but Senator Bill Nelson, who says he's a good friend of Israel, has not co-sponsored that bill. In California and in, in some other states like Vermont, neither senator has co-sponsored the bill. 
So I want you to go to your senators directly, personally, or virtually by electronic communications, by telephone, by email, or whatever way you can, and have everyone you know do so, and say either co-sponsor and get S-1881 passed and enacted as soon as possible, or if you can't do that, get a dear colleague letter going from all the senators, and by for that matter, a dear colleague letter in the House from all the members of the House, all the representatives, to President Obama and to Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, to Bibi, and say just what's in the bill, S-1881, that Iran is not complying by sanctions, Iran is not complying with Security Council resolutions. Iran not only is developing nuclear weapons, which is bad enough, but it's threatening genocide against Israel and us. It is sponsoring terrorism. It is supporting dictators like Bashar al-Assad. And it is oppressing its own people and stifling democracy within Iran. And even if you believed this uh, skeletal, um, vague, four-page uh, agreement that Secretary Kerry signed on to and the Iranian regime signed on to, at most it would only deal with the nuclear weapons development, and the Iranian leaders have said it doesn't change their development of nuclear weapons one iota. So this is a very serious time. It's not just Israel a threat, it's you and I a threat from a tyrannical regime in Iran that is developing nuclear weapons to carry out its genocidal threats against Israel and against us. And also, as we'll say and we'll talk about in future Washington Bites, the neighbors of Iran are very nervous. And so the, the government of Saudi Arabia, of Egypt, and of other Middle East states are preparing to acquire or develop their own nuclear weapons. Probably Turkey as well would do so if Iran is allowed to go, to go ahead and complete its acquisition and arming of weapons, uh, missiles and other weapons with nuclear arms. This is a very, very serious time. Probably never has there been a more serious time for U.S. national security than today. And I say that even in light of all of the things we have seen in our lifetimes including a world war. But today, there is a threat of actual use of nuclear weapons. So I hope, I trust that you will go to your senators, you will take action, and you will continue to support us at CPAC by your membership, by joining or renewing, and Merkel by contributing for a tax-deductible contribution to Merkel, our 501c3. Thank you very much. We'll talk again next week.